To get some interesting tech tutorials and hacks, please subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon. Subscriptions are always free. Also check out my blog at techdjday.blogspot.in wherein I have posted some really interesting tech tutorials. I'll leave the link in the description. Hello everybody and in this video tutorial I'm gonna be showing you how to install DVWA in Kali Linux. Now if you don't know what DVWA is, DVWA stands for Damn Vulnerable Web Application. It is basically a web application that will allow you to practice your hacking skills in a legal and safe environment without harming anyone. So without wasting much time, let's get started. So here I am, this is my Kali Linux system working in VirtualBox. So first of all, we need to download the zip file of DVWA. So for this, open up your favorite browser and visit this link www.dbwa.co.uk I'll leave the link in the description and just scroll down a little bit here it says that download just click on this download option and it will bring up the download wizard and just click ok it will download the file I have already downloaded it so I'll not download it now so for after that open up your file manager and go to the downloads folder here is the zip file right click extract and this is the file all right now we need to change the permissions so right click and select open in terminal and type in here chmod minus capital r space 755 space dvwa-master press and enter and as you can see the permissions have been changed now once done close the terminal and copy this and paste it to your apache server folder var www html and paste it here right click paste now open up this folder here you will see a config folder just open this up and here is a file config.inc.php.dist open this up in your favorite text editor I am using gedit which is the default text editor in Kali Linux and after it opens up you will see this password it is written in lead mode just erase this one alright don't erase the quotes and the semicolons and just click on save and close it you can also verify it just open it up once again see if the changes have been made or not and as you can see the changes have been made now close the file manager and open up the terminal and type in here service apache to start this will start the apache server and also we will start our mysql this is needed press and enter this will start our mysql now type in here mysql space dash u space root which is the username dash p and press and enter it will ask you for password don't type anything just press enter now here it says that my sql now we need to create the database for our dvwa so we'll type in here create database space dvwa semicolon press and enter now it gives me an error it says that database has already been created I have already created the database so that's why it's showing this error in case in your case it may not show the error because you may not have created the database before so now let's exit out of this and again go back to the Apache server folder which is under var uh, var 
www.html and open up this dbwa folder again go to the config folder and just rename this file alright so right click rename and remove this .dist once done select rename this will be renamed and close this one now open up your browser and select new tab and type in here the localhost 127.0.0.1 or you can also type in localhost in english without spaces and press and enter here you will see dbwa master select it and it asks you for the login by the default login is user uh, username is admin admin in small letters and the password is simply password in small letters select login and as you can see your dbwa has been set up so that's how you set up dbwa in kali linux i hope you enjoyed this video tutorial please like comment share and subscribe and bye for now